Welcome back to Teach a Man to Fish channel. Today's video, we're going to be talking fire as a part of your garden management. Let's go ahead and get the year started. Gardening is mostly applying skills, knowledge, and experience for your soil and your garden and finding out what works. If you haven't added fire as one of the tools to use in ensuring a successful gardening year, you should consider it and see if it's what your soil needs. There's no such thing as the perfect soil. You're constantly looking for ways to fortify and amend your soil to create better growing conditions. Your soil needs three things in order to grow well, water, nutrients, and microorganisms. Adding in carbon or charred bits or leftover parts of the fire actually impacts all three of these. The ash releases the nutrients to go back into the soil. The microorganisms reside in the little nooks and crannies that are created inside of the charred bits. And in fact, charcoal acts like a sponge and keeps and retains water. So much so that it's in fact sold as biochar, as a soil amendment. For thousands of years, cultures have used burning as a way to amend the soil and improve growth. The next benefit that you get from burning the, the leftover debris and detritus from the prior growing year is that's where the pest eggs reside. They often harbor or protect over the winter in that brush and debris on the other side down close to the ground and those eggs are laying dormant till the next growing season when you burn that off you're also helping to control pests such as stink bugs That ash can also increase the, the pH in your soil. It helps to fight acidic soil, which dramatically impacts nutrient uptake into the plant. The next thing to consider is the fact that plants, just like us, develop viruses that transmit from year to year. When you burn both the, the cages and the equipment, as well as the debris, you're actually sanitizing or stopping that virus cycle that can harbor over the winter on all of those surfaces. There certainly are a lot of skills that need to be developed when you're doing this kind of burning. You need to take into consideration things like the local laws and rules, burn bans, permits, whether or not you need to make a notification to the local fire department, Maybe neighbors that may have breathing difficulties, you wanna coordinate with them. You also wanna make certain that the conditions are never exactly perfect for burning because that's what makes it dangerous. You wanna take into consideration the humidity, wind, which way the wind is blowing, back burning, not losing control. I like to wet the area outside of where I want to be burning in order to keep that fire from spreading the parts of the yard that I don't want it to go to. As a matter of fact, if you think about it, burning is actually one of the most natural things to be found in nature. The unnatural state is no fire. So you know they do make a backpack that you can carry that bottle in. I don't mind carrying it by hand as I go along, but there's a better way. Burning as a part of those nutrients also adds potash into the soil, another essential nutrient for healthy plants. Also, if you're doing tilling, you keep your tines from getting all knotted up with large weed or knots of debris getting caught in the tines. It all knocks it down. If you like any of the equipment that we use in this video, I'll put a link down below in the description where you can go and purchase the gear.
This is one of the most powerful torches that I was able to find at 800,000 BTU. It also comes with a nice three-year warranty. If you add in fire into your winter toolkit in prepping the garden, you're going to do all those things that we talked about in benefits. If you add in winter tilling, you're going to drive those eggs deeper into the soil and you'll do one heck of a job controlling the pest next year. And hopefully in doing this, you also get balance where you get the good bugs. These are assassin bugs. That's a younger one. These are the kind of bugs that you want in your garden that help control overall pests. So YouTube says that this video is perfect for your viewing habits. This is my latest upload, and over here is a playlist you might just enjoy. I hope you liked it. If you did, please click like, subscribe, share, and come on back for more.